Here we have the uh, 1982 Fox Body Mustang GLX. Uh, they made a GT and they made an LX, and this is the GLX, which I think is a better handling package or something. I'd have to look it up. Uh, this comes with a 3.8 V6 carbureted. Uh, this car is a real honest car. Never been messed with, never been modded or anything, except for the uh, different wheels, which have good Yokohama tires on them. Um, I have two or one and a half or two sets of the original wheels that if the guy, whoever gets this car wants them, they can have them. Um, I was told that these ones are a little wide, so sometimes if you turn, it rubs on the inside, but I haven't had that happen to me. Uh, battery's fully charged. Uh, it's got antifreeze. I did put two temperature sensors in it for the, uh, because the temperature gauge wasn't working. So I put both those in. I think one's for the fan, one's for the temperature gauge. Um, it's got a good air filter in it. Uh, I put three spark plugs on this side because I could reach it. The other side, my hands are too big. I couldn't get them in there, but I have three new spark plugs to go with it. It does have a new serpentine belt in the trunk, which looks like this could use. Um, otherwise, brakes work. Heater works. Uh, power top's real quiet. Um, starts right away when cold, when it's warm. Sometimes you have to give it gas to get it to start, so it has a little trouble starting when it's hot. I think that's a sensor thing, too. I did a little research on it. Um, otherwise, it doesn't seem to burn any oil or anything like that. It's got 69,000 original miles. Uh, I didn't put this top cover on all the way because it's cold out, and I didn't want to pull it too hard, but there's no tears in that. The back seats are good. Front seats are, have a little split on this one, a starting a split on that one. Uh, I have that that door speaker and grills off for whatever reason, so that can be put back on. Uh, radio works. It's scratchy uh, volume now, but it's original. All the little uh, indicator lights down there work when you push the button. It shows that all, if you have tail lights or brake lights out, all those work. Um, horn works. Windshield wipers. Everything seems to work on it. The biggest flaw with it is the back, the top with a glass window in the back is out of it. The back of the top's ripped up, so we'll need a new top. I think it's they're about 400 bucks. Shouldn't be too bad to put on because they don't have a headliner. They're just open. That's I think the top is the biggest flaw, and then also this hinge is worn on this door. So sometimes when you shut it, you have to lift up on it or slam it hard. Back other door is fine. Uh, it's original paint. It's pretty dry. I could use a wax job. I did wax this hood and fender. You can kind of see it's. It would come back. I don't know if you can see the shine on it, but I just did it with a little rag and it got already got better. So uh, There's a few, you know, there's a little nick down here, a scuff there. There's various little scratches here and there, but uh, Nothing catastrophic. This was I believe was z-barted at one time or when it was new Yeah, there's these z-bart sticker or plugs here. I believe yeah down here so that's why there's no rust. I have pictures from underneath it. It's really a pretty rust-free car. And I've looked at the carpets and stuff, and it's uh, a good survivor. I mean, definitely a good potential if somebody want to do a V8 swap. But I got to say, this V6 is no slouch. Um, I just did a fresh oil change in it, put premium gas, a little sea foam in it because it sat for quite a while. Uh, the reason I bought it, my buddy had it, and he had it in a storage locker. And every time we went to the storage locker, it would start right up. He'd back it out. We'd do our thing, and he'd put it back in. So I knew it uh, potentially was a good car. Um, and I did drive it an hour and a half home without any issues, and that was 95 degrees when I did that. So I can go ahead and start it up, but I'll show you. It's uh, here's an intake manifold. It's cold. So I can show you that. And then... Uh, Give her a start. I'm gonna have to give it the gas, I guess. Oops. I'm unfamiliar with the starting procedure of this thing. Uh, sometimes I just hit it and it starts right up. Sometimes I gotta give it a little gas, but it is uh, carbureted, so I guess that makes sense. But uh, motor seems quiet. There's no ticking or knocking or anything like that. I'll rev it up a little bit, but you probably can't hear it because it's so quiet. Uh, oil pressure is good. Uh, like I said, the heater works, all the gauges work. Uh, I think that's about it.